I haven't wanted to turn this into a cup final scenario, said Tony Mowbray this week. His visiting side still stand a chance, however small, of making this season's playoffs. They need to win here and hope for things to go their way in Millwall to stand any chance. Both Dan Neil and Jack Clark reached the impressive 45 league appearances today. Amajalo could be, as he has been all season, the key. Preston have had an odd season. They started this term barely scoring or conceding. They have very little to play for as we take in the national anthem. Roberts with a smart turn and a smart pass as well. Equip out to this uh, right-hand side. A good burst towards the edge of the penalty area from Giallo. Now is the referee interested? He's not. It's Gelhart who's gone down. Bobby Madley jogging away. Well, maybe Sunderland a little bit unlucky there. There is a long leg out. Again with Roberts. Wants the ball back. Doesn't get it. Let's step over from Gooch instead. Goes to Roberts who curls one. And that's a very, very good stop by yeah, Freddie Woodman. A really good dive to his side. That's a great save. He's capable of that, Patrick Roberts. Would have been equal to it. Long ball towards the edge of the penalty area. No doubt uh, who has been the better of the two teams so far. It's scrappy in the centre of the park, and now a big chance because Preston have a lot of space. This could be a big moment. Oh, somehow wide. Liam Delap furious with himself. Well, doesn't take a body language expert to work out what uh, Ryan Lowe's thinking as well. Sundland's defending was abject there. Brilliant charge through. Inches wide. Big swing of the ball to that right-hand side. Three Preston players forward. Not a great deal of support there just yet. Well, it does come in a very clever trick, actually, means Preston could create something here. McCann wanted it, edge of the penalty area, it doesn't come to him, the low header is simple enough. Played well since arriving on loan, Tom Cannon. A couple of goals to the name. Will be a bit frustrated here, I think. That's lovely football. Equa. Little touch towards Roberts, again with Equa. Oh, what a ball for Gelhard! Big moment, big save again from Woodman. Pierre Equa, wonderful ball. And Gelhard will be frustrated. Perhaps should have scored that. Smart touch from Equa. The charge just rolls it out to this right-hand side. He'll step over. And oof, not far away at all from Dan Neal. A lovely sliding attempt. A few Sunderland fans will have thought that was in. Clark dancing towards the edge of the Preston penalty area. Potts puts an end to that. Huge is going to come across and take the ball. In fact, no, Clark will take the throw. Equa. That's clever. Back towards Equa. Woodman again in the way. He can't believe it. Freddie Woodman is having a very good game in the Preston goal. This is excellent football again from Sunderland. The passing and the movements, good strength. Woodman makes himself big and not for the first time in this rainy action it has worked perfectly it's just looking for somewhere to go Equip. and again the man he finds Pritchard Jallo wants it on the right hand side and will get it 
towards uh, Roberts. Shallow comes back for it. Sunderland just trying to find their route through. Back towards Jallo. Oh my word! A man who has been at the forefront of so many big moments so far this season for Sunderland may have been the main part of their biggest moment this year. What a finish this is! First time instinctive, everyone is on side as well. His name is chanted, and quite rightly so. It bounces to him, fortuitously, but after that, well, no fortune in that. That is an incredible strike, and Sunderland quite fairly and quite rightly have the lead. What a season he has had. It's not the best of balls forward, and actually a chance here for Preston to try and create something. The lap is in the centre. Still might drop for the home side here. The shot's deflected wide. Anoma did really well there to carve himself the opportunity. And it's towards goal, and it's straight at Patterson, cleared acrobatically. The Sunderland goalkeeper didn't know too much about that. Did very well, nevertheless. Does well there, too. Oh, just throws his arms at it. It actually hits his chest. In the right place at the right time. But Messi again in the centre circle. Oh, ricochets off Equa. And now a chance here. Clark picks it up left hand side. Drops onto the right boot. Finds Pritchard. There's an option to his right hand side. He scores instead. Sunderland are clear. It's all about what happens now at Millwall. A man with so much playoff experience, of course, and other clubs may well have helped put Sunderland into the playoffs this year. A really good move again from Tony Mowbray's men. Pritchard thought about the right-hand side option, but just turns it into the back of the net. Nothing Woodman could really do. Sunderland lead 2-0. What now? A few calm instructions from Tony Mowbray. He clips it forward. It's a lovely touch. And now Sunderland are starting to move. Clark again pots in front of him. Onto the right boot. 3-0. Jack Clark slides across the Deepdale turf. Those fans rightly ecstatic. There is now no question, Sunderland have done their job. Lovely finish from Jack Clark, his ninth league goal of the season. Woodman beaten by three crackers. Not much more the Preston keeper could do here, or for either of the other two. What's the phrase? A picture paints a thousand words. Oh, you'd expect to see this. Fans are hearing of what may well be very good news at Millwall. It would appear that right now the scoreline is now going their way. And Blackburn somehow are leading. Well, off goes Jallo, his job done. His season, a phenomenal one. Sunderland fans may yet see him again. This must be agony for Tony Mowbray, it really must. And now the news is coming through. Sunderland are likely playoff candidates. 
more and more checking their phones. They'll want this game done. Sunderland pull it out of the bag at the last. Three big goals to go with three points taken by Blackburn. And they make it to the playoffs. They were the better team here today. No surprise with what was and wasn't at stake for the two teams. Jallo got the opener with an absolute belter. Alex Pritchard added a second goal before Jack Clark added to the goal hole. And as the second half progressed, the tension turned away from here. And over to the action in South East London. And Sunderland fans got the answer, quite simply, that they wanted. So much still to come from Sunderland. They've got more action to come for the weekend, but they've made it. They are playoff candidates. Preston nil, Sunderland three.